don't worry, be happy. That seems to be President Obama's central argument in favor of his top legislative accomplishment. The Congressional Budget Office determined that Obamacare will reduce work hours by the equivalent of 2.5 million jobs by the year 2024. The bottom line, according to the report, would be a slower rate of growth for unemployment and compensation. In other words, people will work less and get paid less. The president's spin doctors are quick to attack Republicans who say that Obamacare will kill 2.5 million jobs. That's not right, they complain. That's not what CBO is saying. And the president's men are right. That is not what CBO is saying. The Congressional Budget Office is saying that 2.5 million workers won't have to work under Obamacare. They can just stop working and collect all of the wonderful benefits that flow from this beautiful law. And I guess that is the unspoken part of the Obama agenda. We have fewer people fully participating in the workforce than at any time since the Carter administration. We have more people on food stamps than ever before and more folks claiming disability payments. And thanks to Obamacare, we will have two and a half million people who decide that working is for the birds. The president's plan on jobs is to allow people to take a permanent vacation. Don't worry, be happy, says the president. I think you should be worried, very worried.